what is happening guys welcome back to the deep root depths uh, so we just took on last episode was pretty interesting uh basically they took deep root depths and they made it into three legacy dungeons with three guardians of this area and each guardian represented a lock on this door so we couldn't go through this door till taking out each guardian a uh, really really cool aspect I, I love how they did that actually that was genius uh there was like a necromancy area over there dragon lightning area there and then a uh crucible night way over there but guarded by a bunch of bullshit so it was quite a quite a good episode i really enjoyed that how they did that but now we finally have this gate open we can proceed on and see what awaits us in here i believe it's going to be the same as you oh okay my game either froze or we're going right into Lich Dragon. Okay, um, well, I was not prepared for this. We're going to have to do some buffing here. So they just... Wow, okay, they took out uh, Fia's champions, which is fine with me because that fight sucked. We're getting right into this time, man. <laughs> Oh no. I don't have torn, okay. Oh no. I almost died, man. That was close. Yeah, we need to get out more shit. We've barely done anything to this guy yet. Kind of we were just thrown into this without even knowing, though, so that's my... That's my excuse here. Man, I can't even get any spells off because there's so much shit going on here. Oh, gosh. There's so much shit going on right now, I just can't even see. Man, they uh, took this guy up a notch. He gave us a... He gave us a deer type dragon, man. This dragon reminds me of a deer, which is terrifying, because if you know me, if you follow my channel for a while, you know I've went through all the Souls games. And Dark Souls 3, Medir, we spent two different stream nights on that. A total of four and a half hours to take out Medir. Literally one of the hardest bosses, if not the hardest boss, um, FromSoft has ever given us. And I'm afraid that they might have made Lich Dragon Fortisex. <laughs> Something similar. We're gonna, we're gonna find out. We might be beating our head against a wall tonight on this boss. But hey, we haven't had a boss that we had to beat our head against the wall yet in this, so, you know, I'm, I'm all for it. I'm all for a good time. Good time for us is for us Souls players, man. <laughs> it's, it's such a weird thing. Yeah, I, I charged that one. We'll see if it... Dude, what the shit? I took so much damage there. Hmm. Okay, well, <laughs> this is why we needed 60 Vigor. They, uh, they took four to sacks up a level, let me tell you. Let's, uh... This is pretty nuts. What if I spawn multiple Renna's Barriers? Can I apply... Dude, I'm taking so much damage. Like, literally. I might need to use a Lightning Talisman here to negate some of this, because this is crazy. I 
everybody else having a hard time seeing what the hell is going on right now? <laughs> oh my. Oh my gosh, dude, we're already through all our flasks. Yeah, I can't get a stagger on him either. Like, they picked up, they boosted his poise too, like a ton. Like, usually I can get a stagger with some of this I can't even see what's going on dude like I feel like I'm playing in a windstorm <laughs> I'm all out of blast too we're gonna play this extremely safe Damn it, dude. I can't even reach him. Oh, man. Yeah, I feel like I'm fighting my deer. Oh, no. Oh, shit. That does good damage, but, man, I don't know if I can... Yeah, no. Crap. <laughs> okay, we need to get some lightning negation on. That is going to be... That is going to be important for this fight. Getting some lightning negation. What a boss, man. They really upped this guy. They increased his poise like tenfold. I couldn't even get one stagger on him. And I used all my wind stuff, which totally is supposed to, you know, increase stagger by tenfold. Uh, okay, so we need to craft that first. I think we need to craft a lightning, some type of lightning talisman here. Which we should have plenty of stuff to do, because we have not used any of these. Okay, so we have a bolt drake talisman, boost lightning damage negation by 50%. That is... That is awesome. Definitely going to use that. Um, what are we going to replace, though? Maybe this? Boost physical damage negation by 25%. So, yeah, this in this case, I think they're, we're not really worried about physical. I think we're worried about lightning damage. Um, so, yeah, we're going to keep that on. Um, boost all magic damage by 10%. Grants 1 FP per second. I believe we can do better for this fight. We Plus, we have plenty of magic flasks. We don't need to worry about that in this. Um, let's do, we need something that's going to really, really be good, really be beneficial for us. Um, let me, let me see what we can craft here. Boost non-physical damage negation by 20%. I wonder if that stacks with the lightning one. Probably not. In base game, it didn't. So I'm guessing it probably doesn't here either. Extends of spell duration. Oh, we already have that one. Enhances charge spells and skills. Has anything charged though that we do? Not really. Raises potency. Restores HP, FP, and stamina pot. No. No, no, no. Okay, um, what about any of these? That increases all lightning damage by 5%. Yeah, these are all attack ones, I think, right? Increases all holy damage. And this increases all lightning damage. I, I wish that was more negation. That'd be great. And then these are just... Combat remnants, right? Raises poise. Hmm.
improves dodge rolling but increases damage taken. Hmm. Well, I'm thinking maybe extend spell effect duration. Uh, maybe that one. Let's try it. Let's just try a couple things here. This fight could possibly take a bit. <laughs> but hey, this is good. We found a fight that's actually a challenge for our our sorcerer. So this is this is good. I'm going to put out a lot of Renna's Barriers to start out with. That's a little bit better damage, I guess. Dude, what the hell? I can't even get it. I can't even... Dude, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I just can't be the dodge. That's the problem. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this is good though. Oh shit, maybe not if I can't get in there. Oh my. Gosh, lightning is so annoying in this. Can't even see. Where's he at? Oh no. And he likes doing that in this mod. Dude. And I can't even get all my stuff out to be able to attack him. Shit. This is not good. This is not good. Hmm. Okay, I feel like Dematerialize is not really helping, so we're not going to waste magic on that. I wish we could use Torrent during this. It really sucks that they, we can't. Is the fire coming underneath him? That's totally different. I can't... I can't even see. I need Rykard's camera. Why did they not do Rykard's camera for this boss? can't get a status effect on him. We can't attack him without getting shot. I mean, look at this. This, this is horrible, dude. This is just terrible. Can't even see. Oh, this is bad as heck. Finally, we get a stagger on this guy. Uh oh. 
can't even. Oh man. I. Why can't I lock on either? Like, oh my. This boss, man. Not really impressed with the way they did this. They should have gave us a wider camera. Like they did for Rykard. I would love to fight this guy with Rykard's camera. Why they didn't is beyond me. Oh, I'm out of magic. Shit. Well, this sucks. This, uh, this really does suck. We'll slowly get magic back. I just have to... Okay, so if you run toward that, that's actually pretty easy to get out of there. That's not bad. Okay, how did... Oh no. Oh, I meant to dodge that. Oh, this is bad. Run back. Damn, that's wide. There's a wide range of attacks. Is he doing that? Okay, I'll run. Okay, so that's definitely how you do that. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Oh, shit. Come on, iframes. Give me iframes. Thank goodness. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Come on, stagger, stagger, stagger. Please stagger. Oh, that's not good. He's going to blow fire. And try to get it behind him. Last two. This is bad. He's gonna do this. Run. Gordon. Dodge. Okay. Got one chance to make this work. Oh shit, dude. We had to get him one more time. Crap. This damn slash was too quick. Freaking hard boss. I think we got it though. I think we got it. We just have to manage our flask a little bit more better. Um, yeah. Basically just manage our flask. <laughs> Which can be hard, I know. It's it's uh It's a hard boss. We'll get it though, we'll get it. Uh, 
I thought I was far enough away. I think the most annoying part about this boss is the red lightning that automatically gets on you when you get around him. That is literally the worst part of this fight. Because you have to literally plan your attacks around rolling. Crap. That's not even what I wanted to do. Because if you're glowing red like that, you can't attack. You have to worry about the dodge first. And then get in a few attacks. And I, well, let me see here. Crap, I'm gonna die. Okay, we got we got out of there. Damn, that is so hard to dodge. Gale blast, maybe. Let's try that. Stagger. This is so freaking hard. This is my deer all over again. <laughs> I hope not. I'm good doing no damage either. My damage is so freaking low. Oh my. So low, man. Damage is doing nothing at all. This thing is just impenetrable to everything that I have had for it. I can't even see. Delay on that is crazy. Oh no. What was I doing? Like, how strong is the poise on this guy, dude? His poise is crazy. I'm already on the one flask. No flasks. This is so bad. Yeah, give me a stagger when I don't have a chance at beating this guy because I have no flask left. Big damage, but it's not gonna help if I can't make it count. <laughs> Let's try maybe using these and see how much damage these put off. Some of these, sometimes those do awesome stagger. I'll try this again. Try to just use these and see if we can bait them out. I can get another stagger on them with these. That'd be fantastic.
Oh, I can't even see. If I can get a stagger, man. It's all about the stagger at this point. I have to get a stagger if this is over. Come on, man. We gotta get a stagger here. Please stagger. If it staggers, I can win this. Mm. Now I'm out of magic completely. Damn it. Oh, shit, dude. His poise is insane. I think that's the big problem with our build, because our build is focused around breaking poise. And they increased his poise like 500%, dude. I would love to see the coding for that because it's ridiculous. It's his, po his poise is just insane. Um, oh man, we need we need something stronger. Increase all magic damage by 10%. Increase all physical damage by 10%. Maybe. Hmm. Okay, um, <laughs> this is a hard fight, dude. This is freaking difficult. I want to only put out the stuff that could possibly get a stagger, which is Cyclone, uh, Fairnex. And then focus on getting damage. better damage oh gotta get cyclone back up I can't I hate that attack because I can't see when to dodge man okay we need to take some spells off we got too much spells on to be able to cycle through these, especially since I know what we have to use to beat him. Okay, that was annoying. I mean, this usually gets staggered, but it's not getting staggered in this, in this fight at all. We just have too many, too much blast, too much, or not, or not enough blast. And our mat, too much spells to worry about too. All we need is a few spells for this fight. I can't. Fire? Okay. How come my damage sometimes is good and sometimes is bad? Does he buff himself or something too?
Man, that's not the stag thing I needed the stagger though. The stagger I needed at the end of this fight. Because I'm already out of magic. Gosh, dang, tail whip. Right as soon as I input my last hit. Oh, bad time to charge. Total input reading. Total input reading, man. Okay, this is fine, this is fine. Shit. Mm, the delay on that man. Ooh. Oh, this is bad. magic. If I had magic, I could do something, maybe. Oh, I'm gonna die from death light. Oh, no. <laughs> I have found the weakness to our build, man. Lightning. Lightning and really heavy poise, but we're gonna we're gonna take off last spells though. We're gonna we're gonna make this a lot easier to switch between stuff because I know it works on this guy. I know what will make him poise and break. Um if we're not having it with what we have right now. Um energy shell I think is important still. I think I I don't know. Um and then we are gonna go with Cyclone. We're gonna have that active at all times. Constant try to break his poise. Um, Gale, I just can't get Gale Blast off. I, it, I can get it off, but it just can't get pointed at him. So we're not going to worry about that. We're going to put, uh, Frozen Pharynx on. And then maybe... No, that'd be too hard to get off. Armor of Ryan, cover your body in a protective cloak of frost. Maybe let's try that one, too. Okay, wait, let me put that there first. And then Cyclone. And then Pharynx. Uh, these two are the poise breakers. If we can break his poise multiple times in this fight, man, we can do this. We can do this. Um, flasks? Uh, I I don't know. I mean, any less than 10 flasks and we're going to run out of health flasks. So it kind of is what it is. What are we using for our physic? Let me check that out real quick. Do we have anything that... Okay, we're using opaline hard tier for sure that is a definite so that is all damage negation right temporarily boost all forms of damage negation by 15 percent for three minutes so yes we definitely want that on and then however this effect only occurs once and will expire after three minutes automatically heals one hp in a moment before death Three minutes. Can we beat this guy in three minutes? I think we can. I think we can. If we do this right. <laughs> That's if we can do this right. All right. Let's uh, pop that. Pop this. Pop this. Pop this. And let's go.
Okay, I gotta buff my weapon. Otherwise, I'm gonna do no damage at all. Shit, I'm out of magic already. Dude, what the? Did he headbutt me? I hate that one because I can't see it. Oh no. Shit. Where's his head? That is annoying, dude. Doesn't do any damage, but it just blows me away. Oh, man. Oh, okay, we gotta run. Let's go, man. Somehow we built up the frostbite on him. <laughs> Third keystone of the forge. Nice. Wait, didn't we need the fifth one? We need the number five. Hmm. Oh my gosh, dude. That was insane. That was such a freaking hard fight. They really did Fortis X, like, improved him a lot. Completely a different boss battle. Like, literally, completely. Not even close to the same. He almost died of death blight too in the middle of that one too. That's kind of funny. Armor of Rhyme was actually really good. Uh, it promotes frostbite, I guess. I didn't really know that, but I guess it does. Man, if they made Fortis X that hard, did they really? Did they make Millennia more hard too? It's kind of scary to think about. Um, where does this take us? I'm a little scared, <laughs> uh, but we are done down here, right? We did everything. We got our we got our keystone to the forge, so I think we're good. Let's see where this takes us. Man, that took 40 minutes to take him out. Shit. At least it didn't take four hours. <laughs> Madeir is still tougher, but man, they they improved him. Uh, Royal Capital. It's a weird place for this to bring us, but uh, whatever. Uh, okay, let's go back up to the forge thing up here. We should be able to access the forge now. Damn, what a boss though. That was just nuts. Seek Malekith the Black Blade. Huh? Wait, what? How is that possible if we can't get to the Fair Missoula yet? 
Wait, can we get the pyramids? No, we can't. Dude, what? Uh, how do we get the... What, 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 what the... How do we get the Fair Missoula without the forge? Am I missing something here? <laughs> um, can we take one of these teleporters, maybe? Dude, what the hell? <laughs> Where's Malekith at in this mod? Huh? So no, we can't. We can't get to the... Dude, what? I don't see anything about Faramazula. How do we... How does this mod want us to do this? Does it want us to... Does it want us to kill Malekith at his home over here? At the Bestial Sanctum? <laughs> like, I just... I'm totally confused right now. Seek Malekith the Black Blade. Malekith, am I going to have to kill you? Feed me. I think we're going to have to kill you, Malekith, which I don't know how, because you're almost impossible in this state to kill. You're not impossible, but you're hard to kill in this state. I did it one time by cheesing, but uh, it was extremely difficult. I don't know how we're going to pull this off. Um, it's, I just, I don't know, man. Are we supposed to kill him here? Like, I don't I'm so freaking lost. I need to put on the other spells, though, if we're going to do this. We're missing a lot of spells. Um, Armor of Rhyme, I might keep on. That actually is pretty nice. Oops, that's not it. Uh, Armor of Rhyme. Um, Stormstrike, or... What did we use here? That's right, we use that, and then we use Storm Strike. One thing I wish you could do is make loadouts. That would be really cool. So I could just reload my say, lo reload what I had in here. That would have been really neat for them to add. For them to put in the game in general, that'd been a nice. Because now I have to remember what I had in here. Okay, I think I had Renna's Barrier, Cyclone. I don't even know if this is what we're supposed to do here. If we're supposed to kill him or not here. I think I'll put on Freezing Mist for this. This might That might be beneficial here. Proc Frostbite on him. That might be a good way to cheese him, actually. Okay, let's let's just try those spells. I try to make this as easy as possible. And we're going to try to cheese him. We're going to get him over to the door. And that's the best way to do this. Um. Hi, Malekith. Um, I'm sorry, but apparently I'm supposed to kill you. Yeah, apparently I'm supposed to kill you, and I'm sorry, that dude, but. Uh, this is how it's supposed to go, I guess. I... Malekith, but I need to kill you, dude. You own, you have something of mine. Well, technically it's not mine, but I need it. Sorry, Malekith, but, uh... Stop. 
staggered him again. If I can get the stagger on him. Right there. That's hard to dodge. America, why? Okay. Ancient smithing stone. Dude, you did not have what I had, though. Needed. Um. Malkith, you're supposed to give me... Key to this forge thing that I need to be able to use, and you didn't give it to me. Okay. So is Malekith in a different area? I mean, we just killed him here. <laughs> Malekith. Dude, this is so weird. This is, I mean, I don't know. How do you, how else do you get to Fair Missoula? There's only one way. Start the forge, right? Oh, wait, is that open now? Oh, I thought I saw it open for us. All right, I killed Malekith the Black Blade. Speak Malekith the Black Blade. Huh? All right, guys. Um, I don't know what to do. This don't make any sense. Malekith is in Fair Missoula. The only way to get to Fair Missoula is take the forge. We can't get the forge open until we open the forge. Uh, you, you see what I'm talking about? Something seems a little broken here. I mean, where else would it... How else do you get to Fair Missoula, maybe? Do we have to use a Belfry Tower, maybe? They wouldn't have done that, would they? They did. We're going to need another key. Um, the other key I know, I think it's the one down here. Uh, Celia, let's go get that key real quick. Dude, I, I don't know how we're supposed to get the fair Missoula. There's got to be a way. If I was the modders, how would have I made it to get the fair Missoula? Probably wouldn't have changed that. <laughs> I, I probably wouldn't have changed how you get to Paramazula, and I can't think of any other way to get there besides the forge and also the Belfry Tower. But the Belvery Tower only takes you to one area in Veramazula. I mean, unless they made it so they're all connected. Night Sky, that's not it. It's not that one. It's the one down here, I guess. Crumbling Lands. Well, let's see. Maybe this is how they want us to do it. They really uh, changed this mod up. I mean, I'm glad they did, but like, we're kind of on a hunt to find uh, Alkith. Okay, so the, do we usually have a grace here? I don't even know. Oh, well, that's that's a uh, that is fair, Missoula. <laughs> Unless they made it so we can get. Malekith to open the forge. Maybe they did. 
to make it so we can drop down. Not looking that way, guys. I mean, that looks like certain death, right? Actually, we were pretty close to living right there. If we jumped over a little bit more to the right, that might be possible even. Not... Oh, let's try a few things here, guys. This might actually be where we're supposed to go. It might be a genius. Maybe. We'll see. And that damage is not there. Man, no poise break? Really? Dude, this thing is annoying as shit. Yeah, you're gonna die. Get off here. Okay. Let's see if they made this so this is all connected, maybe. I mean, I have my doubts, but... Never know. Is this platform usually here? Enchanted Remnant. Damn it. It's not looking promising, guys. <laughs> Unless... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. This might be something. This is looking actually... Kind of interesting now. Uh, what are those things? Is that a freaking one of these guys up here? Or wait, or is that just the skeleton ones? I think it's just the skeleton ones. Uh, that's not too bad. Uh, so I think we figured out we have to, what we have to do, guys. I'm pretty sure we figured this out. Um, it's only 53 minutes, but let's uh, continue on through here real quick. I don't want to get too far ahead in this area, but I do want to... Dude. Give me that weapon. You take a lot of damage, dude. Oh, shit. Don't you dare come back alive. Yeah, guys, this is looking like how we get to Black Blade. Because this is not a base game, let me tell you that much. We need to get to a, another thing of grace here. That's the grace we're making our way to, maybe? Man, they changed this area up a lot. This is pretty nutty. This is pretty nutty, guys. Oh, crap. I feel like we're playing Mario, man. I feel like I'm getting Mario vibes from, like, old Mario 64. I don't know if any of my viewers are young enough to remember that game, but, uh... <laughs> old Mario 64 had a lot of, you know, levels, like, in the air and stuff, like, coming up on the final, the final finale of the game, and the Bowser music. I feel like the Bowser music needs to be playing in the background. <laughs> this is pretty wild, though. 
how they totally made this section. Is this is grease. No, this is not a grease. I think we should be getting close to a grease though. That might be a grease over there. Let's go get that. Is the I feel like they added more. They just added on to Air Missoula. I mean, this looks promising. Wow, this is totally different. I don't know what the heck is behind this date, dude. So, uh, moral of the story is Fair Missoula is totally different. <laughs> this, is, this is pretty freaking crazy. And how we got here, too. They really tucked that away. Uh, luckily for me, I have over a thousand hours in this game from my walkthrough and all the stuff I've done on YouTube. So I knew, you know, the other way to get here. But I can see how some other people might forgot about that Belfry Tower. <laughs> that was, that's uh, pretty insane. But uh, we'll, we'll uh, save this for next time, guys. This is getting crazy. Stay tuned. Much more coming soon.